I mean, Absolutely. was this a publicity stunt, or was there something? Were they serious about trying to send a message of? And and I'm not defending MTV, but were they trying to send a message of tolerance and open-mindedness, or was something else at play here? Right now, the popular thing for everyone to do, and we see this with politicians, we see this with uh, even people that that say that they support law enforcement. Everyone is getting on this Black Lives Matter bandwagon. We're, we're, that, that's, a, that's a racist organization. We just got to remember, we got to remember what it is. This organization is designed and, and set up to, to, to be anarchists. They're set up to hate police. They're set up to create racial division. And right now you got uh, a TV, uh, you got a TV network that, that's endorse, endorsing a racist group. They just as well go ahead and, and, and endorse the new Black Panther Party. That's all you're doing. Uh, I just saw, the, I just saw the other day that, uh, you know, you, you, you got uh, Walmart is, is now endorsing uh, Black Lives Matter. We got to, the, the educated people in, in, in society, we got to come out and call this trash nonsense. We got to call it what it is. And we got to stand up and say we are supporting law enforcement regardless of all this liberal nonsense y'all put out here. You're not going to change the way that we feel about our communities. You're not going to change the way we feel about the protectors in our community. You know, and that's what I mean. Uh, because I think we're all shocked when we see examples of, you know, rogue police officers doing things that are against the law. And then there was a protest down here at, um, in Union Square in New York, and they were actually calling for the abolition of the police force. And, and I wanted to go up to the protesters <laughs> and say, what do you think the world would look like? without the men and women who, who could be doing other things with their lives, but are, are doing their best to keep you safe. I didn't do it, but you know, what would you say to those kinds of people who live in this fantasy land that we can live in a society without some kind of law enforcement? I tell them to look at some of these third world countries. Look at, the, look at what's happening right now overseas with it, in Syria. You know, let's look at what their police force are doing. Uh, America will never get to that point. We, right now, we, we, I mean, we just have entirely too many educated and strong-willed individuals in this country to allow uh, these domestic terrorists to take over our country. We're going to continue to be, to be the law-abiding citizens. We're going to protect our law-abiding citizens. Uh, and, yeah, you do have some situations when officers that, uh, you know, they go rogue and they're, they're outside of the... the Expectation of what should be in law enforcement, but we don't give them a pass in law enforcement. And, and, and we expect agencies to hold them accountable. And, and supporting law.